Hello, this is Cass Blue, and welcome to more Whirlwind in Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we ran all over the place because we didn't try to move a stump. Um, yeah, that was smart. But we also did some Whirlwind stuff, and we finally got Ivan for reals. This time around, we are entering the Cave of Goma, which has water and stuff. In order to get to the other side, by the way, is why we're in here. <laughs> For anyone who might be wondering or not keeping up very well, is this weak, weak against fire? I want to say that it is. Well, there's one way to check. Ivan is going to do... Ivan is going to be substantially more effective normally, but... Okay. It's not weak against fire. It's not weak against wind anyway, because Ivan is a much more effective caster than Garrett or Isaac, especially than Garrett. Um, for reference, Ivan has 104 power, whereas... Oh, okay, no, that's a bad example. Damn it. Maybe the spells are just more powerful? Honestly, I don't really remember. I know the big factor for this thing is the... is this stuff. Um... But... Clearly that's not the only one, because they have the same el power in their respective elements, and yet Ivan is clearly more powerful. Maybe it's just because he Ivan has their... The wind... I am saying this badly. Maybe it's just because the Jupiter synergies have better ratios? I don't know. It's something I should look up sometime, but it's not important right now. Uh, I do not want to go down there right now. Nor do I want to fight zombies, which... Are zombies weak against Earth or Fire? I know they're weak... No, they're not weak against Earth. They're Earth Element. So they should resist her? Man, I don't freaking remember any of the resistances. Oh well, there's only one way to find out, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, the, well, all I can say for certain is they're definitely not weak against Earth. They might be weak against wind, they might be weak against... Oh, I remember this. Okay, yeah. This is the shortcut. Something common in most dungeons... ...are... ...you will find, in Golden Sun... ...is that... ...I am not saying this well. No kidding, yeah, that is kind of common, I guess, but not really what I was getting at. No! What? Oh, wow. Don't- don't kill Ivan, dude. I need him alive and I don't want to run back to town to pay the expensive price to revive him. Um... What was I saying? Right, something common in Golden Sun is that you'll find shortcuts where it's a short- shortcut going one way, so as you progress through a dungeon, you can sort of unlock, I guess, the shortcut, and in doing so, you, well, you've created a shortcut. I mean, it really is not that complicated, actually. Once you get to the other side of it, you knock, usually you knock something over or push a pillar into place, and then you have an easy way to go back and forth through that area. That saves a lot of time compared to... Uh, without. Okay. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna do this right now. Not you. You give to Ivan. Use the power bread on yourself. Because you need more HP really badly. And I should probably give that to 
Garrett, but I'm gonna save it because it's not really a major issue yet. Now then. Now, now, now then. Can't do that yet. Okay. Now, probably down there, but there's something... Okay, this is what I was looking for. Because you might not see it yet, but you will in a minute. It's... It's... What is that? It's a Ginny! <laughs> yep, that's a... That is a Ginny! And we needed to move this in order to reach it later on. Uh, you know, I'm gonna leave this in because I'm hoping Ivan will do that! That's an Unleash! It did 20 damage that time. Uh, which it, Ivan would have dealt probably around 14 without it. It's basically like a critical hit, except maybe a little more likely to happen. And... In the case of Ivan's sword, it is really... Or the sword Ivan has right now, the Bandit Sword. It is a really, really straightforward thing, but as you advance in the game, you get weapons with more advanced unleashes that deal more damage, have elemental properties, and inflict status effects. It is a very important battle mechanic, which I can't really take advantage of right now because I don't have anything that does it except for the really shitty bent sword, but, you know, what you gonna do? Did you see something strange over there? I fought it, but it fled. When I returned, I saw it again. I wonder if it likes this place. So he fought the Ginny, did he? I wonder what that bodes for us. More skeletons is what, apparently. Hopefully not our own skeletons. That would be kind of creepy, and also possible, and also probably deadly. Hey, Isaac mastered S Spire? Wait, didn't I already have Spire? I don't know. I don't know. I'll check next battle. Uh... Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Um. We did not have Spire. Right! Spire's the single target one. I totally forgot. Okay then. Let's let's use Earthquake, because actually no, let's not use Earthquake. Let's use Fire. Because Isaac's PP is more valuable than Garrett's. As we've already established. Garrett hits harder with his melee attack, and not as hard as Isaac does with things like Spire, actually. Plus also, Isaac sorta of has the whole healing thing. Which is extremely important. Uh, I can't go over there, really? Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so how are we supposed to do this? We can't push it away! We know magic. I can't- really? I can't pull it? That's surprising. But... minor. Gotta get a box. A box. It's a lucky metal! What's a lucky metal, you ask? Well, it's a thing. You don't say, do, go on. Uh, no. Um, it is actually related to a similar thing as this game ticket. Like, we are quite a ways off from it being relevant, but, eh, well, you, I'll show you when it comes up. That's really all I can say. Is that gonna... Well, you know what? I bet that pushed it into the water that was in the area underneath us. Hmm. Rapid Smash is a really unreliable unleash. Because what it does is it gives you a chance, as in not 100% guaranteed, to hit them twice. And if you fail on that chance, then it 
doesn't really significantly increase your damage. Like, maybe by a few points, but that's it. And... Skeleton, then Ginny. That is a little bit annoying. Okay, so... As a Mars Ginny, it is going to be weak against... Um... Mercury, which unfortunately we do not have right now. Which I mentioned because, guess what? Every Ginny, this one being no exception, that you encounter inside of a dungeon will attack you. I also saved beforehand because, well for one thing actually, Ginny can just be sort of pains and asses that can hurt a lot really quickly, but also they tend to run away when, after a few turns, they don't always do it, but it's always, all of them can do it. Um, and what's more, what's more, it, you just attack, that'll be more, more effective than using Synergy with Garrett. Um, what's more is, well, here's the thing. Oh wow, that hurt a lot. Um, here's the thing though. Uh, do you know Garrett does, of course. Doi. And you can use... I kind of wish I put these on Ivan. He's faster. <laughs> What's the thing? Right. In particular, for the running away thing, is that gonna... Um... Uh... One... one second... Well, I guess it wouldn't be me if I didn't fail at some point. Let's go ahead and put those herbs on Ivan, who can move quicker than the Jenny. Um, boy. Okay. As I was saying, the real catch for the running away thing is each Ginny has, other than the obvious things, Mars Ginny use a lot of Mars stuff, they resist Mars synergy, and they're weak against Mercury. Um, other than the obvious stuff like that, each one has its own few things going for it. For example, Jupiter Ginny are the devil. Because two reasons. First of all, they get the they get the comparatively high power synergy that Ivan has right now. And better ones. And second of all, second of all, they are stupidly fast. It is not out of character for a Jupiter Ginny to run away before you've had any opportunity to act whatsoever. Uh, plus also Ginny can just be bastard sometimes, like what happened last time where it just totally two-shot Ivan. Because, you know, it can do that. It didn't do it this time, but it can do that with relative ease. Hmm, I need to remember to try to stay off of axes. Oh hey, I felled it. Cool. And Garrett leveled up. Flare Wall is basically the next step in the line of synergy that Flare is on. It's, it's just an upgraded Flare. Um, but yeah. You got it? Wow, that's pretty impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for others like it. Oh, I will. But first, let's put this on someone who makes sense. Like Garrett. Uh, what does this actually do? Uh, plus HP. A lot of HP, actually. Plus attack power, plus agility. A tiny bit of agility and luck. By the way, something I should point out. You, if you are a careful observer, you will notice that these bonuses are different than the ones that Garrett would be receiving from Flint. Each and every 
Ginny, in addition to each having a different ability, also has a different, um... Also gives slightly different stats. Generally, they, they're they similar ones. Like, wooden ones will always increase your agility a bunch, for example. But there are always small differences between each one. Also, no, just to prove I wasn't uh, lying through my teeth before, Cleave Stone boosts attack power. Forge does not attack things. It, incre it gives you a huge um, attack power buff to all of your party members. It is, which means it's actually an extremely useful ability. But not forgetting triple experience, unfortunately. Oh well. Anyway, what was the thing about axes? Right. I'm pretty sure axes reduce your accuracy slightly. Not a whole lot, but well, maybe Garrus accuracy is just an after the blow though. I don't even remember. You know though, there's a way to find out. Uh wait, is it based on agility? It might be. I don't freaking remember. You know, I'm just gonna need to look it up if I want to know. Oh well. And there was nothing down here, was there? Nope. Okay. Okay. Well, we're almost through now, I think. It's not. I don't remember it being a very big cave, so. Hmm. I'm feeling a little bit paranoid, though, so let's heal. Yeah, sure, Garrett as well. And down here, and we're out! Woohoo! And this is the next town, which we will enter next time on Golden Sun! What could be inside? What fate awaits us? You'll just have to tune in then to find out. So until then, this has been... Well, I already said, this has been Golden Sun. Yeah. But until then... Have a nice day.